TV taught me how to dream. It was a life jacket. I don't think you can be an artist and not touch people. You ready? Sound good? Ready? Tell me when you set. On access, coming to you live. It's always lights, camera, action. That's what I'm gonna tell you. If you're doing good, they got something to say. If you're doing bad, they got something to say. So, do what makes you happy. Because you see this jet, you see this private jet that we own? I got it because I did what the I wanted to do. I made over a billion dollars, you know why? Because I did what the I wanted to do. I'm gonna always tell Tank, do what the you wanna do. For Javante Davis, an unbeaten champion with thunderous power, the time has come to step out of an icon's shadow and continue his meteoric rise. And this fight is over! Boxing helped save my life a lot. I'm not here for just no reason. Fight the good fight because this is war. Uh. For the relentless four division champ, Leo Santa Cruz, every cleared obstacle has only amplified his focus. For my dad to be with me in this fight after all we've been through, it's just exciting. Born for greatness, man. Born for greatness, man. Born for greatness, man. Okay, okay. For two men with unyielding fortitude, the paths that brought them here will soon converge. The whole world watching this. This is the moment I've been training all my life for. I think it's gonna put me in another level. Santa Cruz looking to light him up like the Las Vegas Strip. I'm ready to turn to a monster. It's incredible. At the end of the day, we the same right now. We undefeated. And that's what we do. We kick. This is All Access. The Lamborghini. That was my dream car when I was small, and I said, if I ever make it in boxing, I want to buy that car. For a fighter of a certain stature, success can be measured not just in belts, but in toys. And what better way to announce your first top pay-per-view billing than arriving to work in a Lambo purchased from Mayweather himself? I look up to Floyd. He's a great fighter. I got his car and everything, and he's training the fighter I'm going to fight. I gotta go out there and try to beat his guy up. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Got that sunshine on my Sunday bed. Luna, what did you get here? What did you get? Did you get the pera? It's never too early to get a taste of training when your last name is Santa Cruz. Today, Leo's daughter, Luna, visits the gym, throwing combinations and brightening her father's mood. But during the past week, the familial atmosphere has been dampened. As Leo's father and head trainer, Jose, recovers in the hospital from a sepsis infection. In his absence, older brother, Antonio, has stepped up. Right now that he's sick, I mean, like, uh, I'm the one who takes in charge. I'm here to support my father. 
he's like really hard on us, so I think that I, I have to take that role now, that, that I have to be hard on, sometimes on Leo. <laughs> when fighting at this elite level, any disruption can tip a win to a loss. In 2016, when Leo faced Carl Frampton, his father was battling cancer. And in a close fight, Leo suffered his only pro defeat. On the Frampton fight, there was people saying, like, you lost this fight because uh, your father was not there. Well, I don't want to go through that again, that I kind of get blamed sometimes about, like, that we didn't do a good job because my father was not here. It was gonna be like very important for Leo to win this fight so he can say like, see, you, Antonio, you, you did it yourself too. The Santa Cruz family functions together. And for this fight, each has something of their own to prove. As always, they will lean on each other to put on a performance worthy of their name. Santa Cruz, I like the challenge because he overwhelms all his opponent that he went against. We can play the same game. It's one of Floyd's tradition right here, so I'm just having some fun. This one of Tank's last exercise for the night. I'm gonna cover it up so he don't see it. And when he come over and work, I'm gonna reveal it. <laughs> Tank is really taking this fight really serious because that night in that ring, Santa Cruz is gonna try to break him. He gonna try to take him in deep water. Get you know what I'm saying? And that's when it's gonna come a fight. <laughs> the consensus is that on October 31st, Javante Davis will confront an unrelenting assault, the likes of which he has never faced before. Busting them up, man. You hit me harder than that tonight. After all, there are smothering attackers, and then there is Leo Santa Cruz. This is a big step up, you know, as far as fighting an elite fighter that I'm fighting, somebody that's a four time world champion. And while Tank's devastating knockout power does bode well for his prospects, lingering questions about the young champion's endurance give clues to an angle Santa Cruz hopes to exploit. They say they question his conditioning. I've been watching him since he was knee high. I know he got it in. Come on, two more. Oh, uh, come Though on. only 25, Javante seeks unquestioned pay-per-view dominance, leaving little room for any missteps. No pain, no game, son. Nevertheless, Tank has armed his critics with two eyebrow-raising incidents in the last three years. First, in 2017, at the weigh-in for Francisco Fonseca. Javante came in two pounds over the super featherweight limit. Even though he won the fight with a typically emphatic KO, Javante oh, lost his title before ever stepping in the nine. ring. And the fight has been stopped. I let myself down more than anything. It was a, a, a lesson. Uh, um, I moved forward from that. It made him feel like, okay, let me get serious now. There you go. It's levels to this game level so that was the level that he had to understand and he had to be serious about because he's a world champion now he lost it got it back now so now let's not let that happen again Gervonta last year with belt back in hand and twice defended Gervonta took another step up in competition before a packed arena in Atlanta he took on the accomplished veteran Yuriorkis Gamboa oh double jab Gamboa. But after an early knockdown, the night didn't end as quickly as he's accustomed to. Davis, not used to going this deep into a fight, Al. Durante Davis has not been super active in terms of volume of punches. Still, in round 12, Javante closed the show in his signature manner with a resounding TKO. fight, but at the end, Davis smokes Gamboa like a Cuban cigar. Come on, Tank. Come on, Tank. Come on, Tank. Come on. Javante's experiences have reinforced his belief that the best way to answer a challenge is to meet it head on. Three. Come on. 
I'm actually at my best when people doubt me and go against me. Leading up to the fight, it's no breaking me. The only person that can break me is myself. And I don't see myself breaking myself. And so a rival like Leo affords a valuable opportunity to show he's matured as a fighter and ready to reign as a pay-per-view star. Look at that, look at that. Look at that two. Look at that two. <laughs> Somebody get a picture of this two. Both of them done. <laughs> Both of them done. Look at that. Fat cat. Look at the man. Oh, look at that. They're coming out. They're coming out. As camp nears its close, Javante is joined by a special young visitor. No. No. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> His daughter, two-year-old Giovanni, has come to Vegas to remind her father of why he's fighting and what is at stake. Yeah, kisses. She made me train harder because I'm watching her and I want to give her a way better lifestyle than, than me coming up. <laughs> she definitely bring the softness out of me when I'm around her. Taking life more serious, because I'm not just living for myself no more, I'm living for my daughter. Though far from home, it's small comforts like these that balance the grueling preparation for the fight close at hand. <laughs> Back in Los Angeles, a tasty benefit of training at home is a visit to one of Leo's favorite spots. Although, these days, it's a little harder to blend in. My routine has not changed since I got money and everything. I'm still the same person. I still go to the same places. And I come here really often. I'm excited, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a big fight, but yeah, that's a big fight. <laughs> I'm just, you know, a humble guy that just goes along with everybody. I'm not like other famous people that they, once they make it or they make big money, they try to hide or, you know, stay away from the people. I, me, I try to even go more and be out and socialize with people and everything. If Leo and Antonio's spirits seem lifted, that's because the gym is once again whole. Jose's hospital stay has ended. And whatever struggles remain, he's back where he's comfortable, guiding his sons when they need him the most. Yeah. Having him back here is a big relief for me. When my dad was in the hospital, I come and I was like depressed, like a little bit. Sometimes I'm like, ah, I don't even want to train, but I have to. But right now that he's better and everything, I'm able to train even better. I get more motivation, more hunger. This isn't the first time in 2020 that Leo's been forced to consider what life without his father might mean. Just four months ago, Jose, already high risk as a cancer survivor, was dealt a nearly fatal blow. It was just a regular day and my dad, he just told me that he couldn't breathe. When he got to the hospital, they did a test on him and he came out positive. For, for the COVID. They put him in ventilator. He was in a coma like for a few weeks and his heart stopped. The doctors told us that we don't think he's gonna make it. The doctors are saying that he's not gonna pass the night, that only a miracle could help him, that if you guys have faith to, you know, to pray. We were heartbroken, we were crying. And I said, man, I wish I could have said goodbye to my dad one last time. I could have hugged them and say I love them. The doctors told us that he died twice. 
We prayed, we asked God to, to make a miracle. The next day came and he was getting a little better and better. We couldn't believe it. And that was a big relief, you know, to all of us, to the whole family. And I just told him that, you know, for him to fight, to recover, that, you know, that he's a fighter. Doctors from the hospital said that there were other people that there with him and other people that were there with him, all of them passed away. He was the only one that survived that had the virus. And, you know, it was something like unexplainable, like if it was a miracle. As Jose recovered in the hospital, Leo had his father's likeness inked on his left arm, marking a physical manifestation of their all-for-one ethos. I learned the strength from my dad because he's a really tough guy. Every time he's in pain, he tried not to show it, but deep inside, I know he's hurting. My dad wanted this fight. He said I could beat him. He, he believes in me so much, so I want to make him proud. This fight is the most important fight in my career. The biggest fight, I think the hardest fight, but if I get past this one, the sky's the limit for me. A lot of power, man. Hey, everybody. Leo, Santa Cruz, give it up. Give it up. Baby, go get his title, baby. Go get his title. Yes, sir? Yes. Okay. Hey, Bell, come on. Money ball. Hey, looking good for y'all. Hey, looking good. Hey, looking good, champ. Oh, my God. I'm a happy guy, I'm a playful guy. I like to have fun. That's what they waiting for. Mm. Even if I'm in camp, I like to have fun. What's going on? I'm a guy that want to be around my friends and family, you know, because I feel like if I'm stuck in, like, say it's leading up to the fight and I'm just sitting in one spot and I'm just thinking about the fight, I'll be like, uh, start losing my mind. Ooh, show me something. Show you that. Welcome to the bubble, Javante. I'm playful, humble, but when it's time to, you know, handle business, then I'm the opposite of where I am with my friends. We got him. No, no, no! No, no, no! There is no doubt the champ has earned this respite. However, just because Javante is enjoying a day off, that doesn't mean everyone else is. If y'all notice, this guy's little to Santa Cruz. Coach Calvin and the team dive into film study, formulating a plan to counter Santa Cruz's unyielding barrage. When you look at it, you, you can size, look at the size, look at the, the range, you know. And this was after he came back from off this loss. So he just redeemed his belt back. And they put him in front of a person that posed a can punch. <laughs> you know? Punch like tank. Now, we know that, but we ain't gonna tell him that. Yeah. <laughs> and see, you see him in the inside with him, see? See the shots so he, he getting he, hit he with? Hit see the shots he getting hit with? But that's Santa Cruz's fight. That's his fight. That's he what he looking for. You see that? That's the type of fight Santa Cruz looked for. But is he willing to take that type of punishment? Because the type of training that I'm putting on this, this is a statement for Javante Davis to show to the rest of them that keep calling them out. Look. We're going to set statements now, because this is a different level now. Look how many punches he throw. Look, see what coach he got up in there. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So we know he's going to throw punches. So my job is to make him change that. Oh, he's not throwing that many punches anymore. Something is what? Wrong. All right, Leo. Let's go three repetitions. Let's go nice and explosive. Let's hit some high numbers right here. Nice and powerful. Not all preparation is cerebral. Sometimes you don't have to think, you just sweat. To prepare for the onslaught of force upcoming, Leo fortifies his body for combat. Hips and legs, hips and legs. Nice, Leo. I'm doing more strength conditioning. Tank Davis, stronger fighter, bigger guy. So I had to go stronger for this fight. 
And you know we're doing a little more weights. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, good job, Leo. Very good. Javante is going to come off very, very strong in the early rounds. And it's just a matter of making sure that Leo is able to really withstand those early onslaughts and really match it. All the way, all the way. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. There you go. Come on, Leo. Come on. Push it, push it, push it. Come on. Come on, Good job, Leo. Push. All Tank is going to do is try to, try to move you. You got to move him, too. You got to move him back. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got it. Right there, Leo. Good. Nice. Push, 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 push. The volume that I throw, I think, is going to affect Tank because he has never had a fighter that, on top of him, you know, throwing a lot of punches, putting that type of pressure that I put on. And cut. Good. Right back in. Good. We move, we move, we move, and you box. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, Tank's a great fighter. He's talented, strong, but I'm better. And then you move again. Nice. There you go. There. there. Good, good. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Hey, con tu abuela, hey, con tu abuelo. Dale un abrazo a tu abuelo, Carla. For the Santa Cruz men, boxing talk isn't something left at the gym. Even in the moments of relaxation, the fight is never far from their minds. Está fuerte. La la pegada, la pegada es la que tienes que tú estar afuera, ah, distancia. Tienes que estar, no, sí, un poquito de distancia, pero estar. Cuando se arma tirarte, tirale tú. Mira, ellos todos, todos son los peligrosos. Todos son los peligrosos. Lo enseñas a veces nomás es dar un paso para atrás, ya. ¿Crees que podemos ganar la pelea? ¿O sea, como ese día? Con pues inteligencia, pues, boxeándolo con, con pierna. Tiene para darle pelea. Gracias. Le voy, ¿cómo? Voy. Mira, mira, está chévere, nice, nice. Gracias. Gracias, Perl, ahí con Bobo, Molly. My goal is to, you know, make the Santa Cruz last name, you know, uh, a big name, you know, like, do you remember Chavez? He's a legend. I wanted to say, hey, Leo Santa Cruz, so, you know, he's a, a great fighter and the last name mm -hmm. to live long. Mira, dile mis patos, dile. Come <laughs> here, Daddy. Come here. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. With the fight so close, the question becomes simple. Is Javante ready to confront Leo's stubborn and long-lasting assault? Good, good. Give me an uppercut off of that. Good. Calvin is using these final days to assess his fighter. Oh my God! And by the sound of it, he's confident that on Halloween night, Javante will bring the fight to Santa Cruz. I don't like knockouts. I like punishment. Santa Cruz is going to do his thing. Tank going to do his thing. Tank got some skills that y'all haven't seen. And Leo, I'm praying that he's the one that's going to bring it out, Tank. When you go in the gym and work with Tank, you got to give Tank 100%. This is a pay-per-view fight. We bust our to get to where we at. Yep, box smart. You're a 12-round fighter, box smart. Oh, my God. I don't know why y'all ain't never got me no work like that when I was, when I was fighting. <laughs> We're a team. We work together. We count the hit. Well, I just told Tank in the car, he said, I'm working the corner. We all in it for the same results. 
for him to win and for his legacy to grow. This is the vision. We on the mission. We are magnificent. Looking at you, Tank. Telling you, you ain't in shape. See him? There you go. You see him? Look at him when you hit that bag. Show him you can look at him and hit the bag. Well, Leon had to force him to fight. He actually gonna bring the fight to me, what which I want. Knowing that he's a smarter guy and I'm a big puncher, and he's crazy to just come right at me. Stay with yeah. Come on. It's all about just showing the people that I am what I say I am. I can walk the walk and I can talk the talk. Let me explain something to you. His job is to try to outpunch you. Guess what? We got him. The world is coming to see you. Everybody keeps their heart tank pile. Yo, you got so much in your, in your DNA. It's unreal. It's tempting to use a metaphor to describe a champion's journey, to illustrate their ascension, or how they fight in the ring. But in the case of Javante Davis and Leo Santa Cruz, Perhaps metaphors do them a disservice because the real life events that led to their Halloween showdown are more vivid than any words could be. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give go. up Come now. On. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that ground. My life been good and bad and all around. The more things I lost, the more I found. Both fighters rose from nothing, from poverty. Both were saved by father figures who demanded their best. My dad means the world to me. Everything I have is thanks to him because he pushed me every day. Fight after fight after fight has led them to this moment. If the fight was tonight, I'd be ready. You know black men don't blush, huh? Came here ready to fight on this night. You better just run for your life. Hey, don't get this time, man. Don't hey. get this time. They will clash not for pride, nor even fame. No, they fight for their loved ones. I'm fighting this fight for my family, for my dad. They fight for those who believe in them. I want to be a role model for kids to always fight for their dreams, you know, to work hard, never give up, no matter what people tell them. They fight for a future that does not resemble their past. Right now in my career, I'm just scratching the surface of what I can do. And I want to be that top um, pound for pound fighter. <laughs> A victory this Saturday is important for these two men, not because they fight for symbolism. It's important because these men fight for everything and everyone in their lives. Run for your life. Javante Davis will take on Leo Santa Cruz, Saturday, October 31st. Won't you come and see what it's like Living by the rules that you write You ain't all those lavish delights Now you had no back in his sight All the little lies you recite Just makes all the savage unite Usually I'm very polite But I'ma get savage tonight Even when a dog being nice Every single dog gonna bite You might think I'm wrong but I'm right Just let it get a strong appetite You better just run for